Soapcast just updated their player to uh, version 3 now, and I would say it's much improved, uh, better than the last time I used it, if you watch my old videos. And it's much easier to install it now, because they have the devs for you. Now, if you don't know what a Soapcast is, it's kind of like P2P for streaming videos. Um, think of it like LimeWire meets Hulu, okay? It shares the videos uh, with other people, okay? Now it's the same thing like LimeWire where you have, you know, the more people you have, the faster it will be, because uh, in LimeWire, the more people they have on the on the the file, the faster you download it, right? So it's the same thing, same process. Think of it like that. Uh, so that being said, uh, this is how it looks like. It looks exactly like Totem Player, you know. It looks slick now. Back in the days, it looked crappy. <laughs> Uh, but this one, I believe you need VLC. I think that's what they said. I, I don't remember, but I think they said VLC. So make sure you have VLC uh, installed. Just go get in your Synaptic, and you'll have it installed. And um, like I said before, um, this one you know has a channel list. The first thing you have to do is uh, hit the refresh button here, and they'll give you a new list. Now, don't expect this to always be English because they have some other uh, languages out here also. You know, like uh, Romania, uh, I think it's news here, uh, Italian, Poland, uh, some other some other crap. But uh, I, I usually watch on here is uh, like live events. Um, you know, on the on the day that is airing, like uh, a football game, a soccer game, um, maybe a hockey game. Uh, I actually today is uh, the UFC 102. So I'm actually watching um, the was that the UFC 102 match in here. So if I dip, double click on this. Uh, I'll say connecting here, and it should buffer in one minute. Now the first few uh, like the first uh, 30 seconds or to a minute, it'll be kind of slow a little bit because it's connecting all the peers. But after that, it should be smooth because you know there's a lot of people watching on that day, and uh, it should be fast. Now I don't expect all these channels to be super clear because I would say actually expect it to be a low quality, but uh, you know it's free, and the low quality makes it go faster uh, because it's a live thing, right? And as far as these channels, uh, a lot of people set it up. Uh, you don't really control it. Uh, the people that set it up is uh, is random. You know, I, I don't know anybody can set it up and uh, just post their uh, link here, and uh, whenever someone uh, refreshes their list, uh, it'll be on uh, here. So uh, if you want to share, you can share. It's kind of like LimeWire. If you want to share, you can share. And uh, whenever people hop on, hey, the faster it will be. Uh, so that's how it works. And this is the player. And uh, um, you know, check this check this out if you want to watch a live event or uh, maybe just some news if uh, you you have a different language, uh, you know, in your household. Uh, so that's all I gotta say about this. I uh, I like it. And uh, to install it. Um, I would say uh, make sure your um, make sure you have VLC, I guess. And then uh, here's the here's the site that they have it. And go to the downloads here. And the first thing you want to do is install the SP. Now it depends which uh, system you have. So I have a 64-bit, and uh, install this one first, okay. And then you install the player, uh, another one, 64-bit uh, here. So make sure you have your, you know, the right uh, architecture when you install it. So that's it, the back end and the front end player. There you go, done, right?